When you're trying to play the bebop language, there's a few different types of stuff that you need to be aware of. The first thing is that you're basically surrounding arpeggio notes, right? Of course, you always need to keep in mind the element of rhythm in there. Let's say I'm thinking about this phrase I just started with, right? I'll, I'm, I just improvised it, but let me tell you what was going on through my mind. I was thinking about the enclosure into that minor third over here. You can see that this is the minor third of D minor because you know that this is the D minor triad. And then I'm doing a leap instead of going into this root over here, I'm jumping to the fifth and kind of doing this movement of the half steps, right? So instead of learning the phrase D minor triad, enclosure to the third, learn the concept. You want to transcribe concepts, not phrases. For example, if I take this and I see this over this second inversion, but I want to translate that to a C major chord, I can see this C major second inversion, G, C, E, and create the same kind of idea. Enclosure to the third of the chord, fifth kind of hint, up and down, same thing over here, maybe this enclosure, going to the fifth, creating this kind of half step movement, so now I have a motive. Test yourself to see if you can do that with other chords. Let's say I'm going to B diminished, right? This is a B diminished triad. It's in root position because it's starting from the root, B, D, F. And I'm going to create the same kind of movement. I don't need to even think. I just need to make sure I have an enclosure, a leap, and this kind of like subtle movement in there. So an enclosure to my target tone, my flat five, a leap down, and a small movement. Now, many people really want to kind of start doing these kind of phrases from bebop to modern or just fusion stuff and they're lacking the fundamentals. And that's where I see most of my students kind of experience the, what I call the intermediate plateau, where they can already play, but they're getting stuck with being creative over changes, yet alone understanding the language of stuff like bebop and fusion. And that's why I really think it's a great idea that you dive deep into the fundamentals. I'm talking about the triads, knowing all the triads, mapping them out on the guitar. I'm talking about knowing the arpeggios really well, which is going to be a side effect of practicing triads. I'm talking about knowing how to add notes into tr triads and arpeggios to start hearing stuff differently and approaching music in a more creative manner. I'm talking about the fundamental element of voice leading and of course learning the language. You can do all those stuff and much more on my website wiseguitar.com so check out the link in the description below and learn way deeper all these concepts are arranged in 17 modules you're going to experience over 105 videos so check that out that's called galactic modern guitar the link is in the description of this video let's take another kind of concept which is the contrast and movement in your lines so let's say you're playing a line over an A chord, right? You have an A chord, maybe it's an A7, and you you have this contrast of a line. How exactly would I explain this as A? First thing I need to examine is just the arpeggio. So this is a more advanced level of stuff we're experiencing here, right? First of all, I'm gonna experience the A major arpeggio over the fretboard. So how exactly was that, that kind of stuff, right? Well, the first thing that I noticed is that I can change stuff within the triad. Remember, once you learn something, you can then go ahead and change it. In this case, you can raise the five. This is the five. Another thing to be aware of. What are the harmonic numbers? When I'm playing something, can I see the harmonic numbers? This is the five, I'm gonna raise it to a sharp five. Now I have an augmented sound that I can superimpose 
over that A, right? Of course, it always depends on the language, the contents, the harmonic awareness behind what you're playing. So now I have this augmented chord over here, and I'm going to create some tension around that chord. For example, if I'm treating this as a dominant chord, I can go and make my enclosure to a non-core tone, to a tension tone, for example, to a flat 9 on over here. Same idea that we started with over triads, but now we're experiencing that over tension notes. An enclosure to the flat 9, a subtle movement of a leap, 4th below into the flat 13, the 7, flat 9 to the root. This is a bigger structure that I created around my triad, which is an augmented triad, right? I manipulated A into making it an A augmented, and then I created the structure around that. Now, you might be thinking, how on earth would I understand all of these stuff? Once again, as I mentioned, step-by-step -step process of understanding the fundamental elements of music that have been there for years, through classical music to jazz, even nowadays I hear that in prog music, rock music, fusion music. And again, you can have an entire process to check that out in the description of this video, Galactic Modern Guitar. If you are interested in checking out another lesson about bebop and how to start implementing those bebop kind of chops into your playing, check out this lesson over here where I talk about the bebop scale and how you can start using that to create some cool jazz lines. Check it out.